don't look at the lipid panel that your doctor ordered. It's completely wrong. You need to know your triglyceride ratios and your particle sizes and your this and that. And the other thing, come see me because I know way more than your doctors. So whenever you see somebody posting a whole bunch of nonsense about triglycerides and HDL and triglyceride to HDL ratios and how LDL doesn't tell the whole story and how they know more than your doctor and they want to fix your metabolic health and get to the root cause of disease and all this nonsense, this person has turned rogue and has gone the way of the keto carnivore online grifter. On a normal lipid panel, you have everything you need. You need a fasting triglycerides to know if your triglycerides are over 500 and need immediate treatment because that could be life-threatening, can cause pancreatitis, and ultimately lead to pancreatic cancer. That's already in your lipid panel. We need your LDL cholesterol. That is literally the most tested, the most studied agent in the history of humanity. We have over 110 years of data on LDL cholesterol, and the one in your lipid panel, panel is completely fine. And here's all the data and the, and the millions and millions of data points to support that. You also need non-HDL cholesterol if you want to look at it. That gives us an approximation of your apolipoprotein B, which measures all of the rest of the atherogenic particles or the cholesterol that is contained within them in your bloodstream. That is all you need. When someone goes on and on and on and tells you you don't need this and I know better and come follow me and I'll do all these fancy $4,000 tests on you, <laughs> they're trying to sell you some nonsense.